If you go to Mexico and you ask people how to pronounce this animal, what they will all say is uh, something like ash a uh, lot. Uh, yeah, sure, lot toll. Ashalotl. Ashalotl. So for years, I have been telling people that this kind of animal was named the ashalotl, and I've been like, you gotta say it right, everybody. It's really important. And then I actually looked this up, which I never should have done. And it turns out that this animal was not named by Mexican speakers, Mexican speakers, by Spanish speakers originally. This was, I'm sorry, do you know, do you know anything about the, I think I have some pictures in here somewhere for this. Do you know anything about the Aztec? So here, this is a picture of Tenochtitlan. Tenochtitlan is the capital of the, what well, was the capital of the Aztec Empire. It was one of the greatest cities, most beautiful cities, famously in the history of the world for really interesting reasons. It was run by the Aztecs, and the Aztecs spoke a language called Nahuatl. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm probably pronouncing that terribly wrong. Nahuatl, something like that. And they had a god who they called... Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to get it right. There's no way I can possibly get this right. Oh no, it's just Xolotl. 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 He was a, a kind of a god. He was the twin brother. There's a lot of twin brothers in Mayan and Aztec and Olmec society and mythology. Uh, the twin brother of Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl, if you know your dinosaurs, Quetzalcoatl is this non-dinosaur, but dinosaur-like pterosaur flying giant thing, like a 60-foot wingspan. Incredible. Amazing. Um, so cool. Anyway, twin brother of that. 